Hello, welcome to Spurred On. This is Spurverts, the things that have got us excited to be Spurs fans this week. I'm Rhys James, and this is Craig Mitch. What's up, guys? This, this week, this week, Craig Mitch has gone back in time to the Budweiser adverts of the 2000s. Early noughties. Um, early noughties. Uh, I'm excited this week. I don't know if you saw, Christian Eriksen scored an absolute screamer. You guys have got to see this goal for Denmark in a friendly against Montenegro. Oh, what a peach. Hot what a beauty. Rhys. What a scorcher. Rhys, I don't know what your definition of a scorcher is, but I can tell you exactly what happened because I've actually watched it. He gets the, he gets the ball uh, about 16, 17 yards out from across, hits it first time with oh, yeah. his left foot. And what I will say is I think Christian Eriksen is such a magician he that he actually, with his eyes, persuaded the Montenegro goalkeeper to just dive over the ball when the ball was going about seven or eight miles an hour. Look, he's multi-talented. He he's is. got loads of different things he can do. He can score free kicks from miles out that are legitimate screamers, and he can just trick goalkeepers into letting it through his hands. And he's well good at making out with his own girlfriend in the middle of the street. He is good at that. I mean, more pictures that I haven't seen, but fair enough. Well, I'll send you some pictures. Spend a lot of time on Instagram these days, don't you? Just Mitch and Christian. I'll send you some pictures and uh, and of Christian Eriksen. Good stuff. Um, you've got my you've got my Dropbox. Okay, uh, we're also excited about uh, uh, Jack Wilshire. Uh, not about Jack Wilshire. Obviously not excited about Jack Wilshire. Scum. What we are excited Absolute about. Absolute scum. This week, Jack Wilshire has revealed that apparently in the England team, the Spurs players will not speak to him in the dressing room and on the training ground. Ha! Well, maybe it's because he's such a little whiny piece of <laughs> who's constantly saying, "Oh, what a Spurs! Spurs!" and all doing chants, and also you're trying to injure our players in the training ground because you're. A Rat, and I hate you. Maybe that's why, mate. And maybe no one should speak to you, not even the Arsenal players, because you are a little glass ankled piece of nothing, piece of eight. Okay, so basically. And I'm excited. Uh, yeah, we're excited about this because uh, basically, what if you take away all the expletives, which, as I've told you before, I find abhorrent, obviously, um, what has become clear is that the Spurs fans, uh, Spurs players, sorry, don't speak to him. That's what I got out of it. Yeah, and I think that's brilliant. I think that's old them. school. Yeah. Like uh, the uh, players in the old England squads back from the golden generation used to talk about how the Man United clique wouldn't talk to anyone else. And as far as I'm concerned, we should have a Spurs clique. Yeah. Definitely. Like we have a Spurs clique in Spurred On. We don't talk to anyone else in the whole office because we're no. Spurs. So that's how it should be in the England squad as well. Yeah, it's an absolute nightmare getting into the building. Yeah. You do it because you're a Spurs fan. And also I imagine that the Spurs players are all just way more intellectual than the others. So you've got, yeah. you know, Andros Townsend. Oh, what a, you know, he's basically the Stephen Hawking of Spurs. Mastermind. Yeah, mastermind. You've got Ryan Mason, who's clearly, you know, that Smart sleeve guy. of ink is just Pythagoras theorem. Yeah, that's old scripture. That's all he's got written there. That's and then uh, Carl Walker, when he's in the squad, well, he is renowned, renowned for his, uh, he went to Oxbridge, I think. Yeah, bookish. He's difficult to speak to anyway, because he's always got his head in a book. He has, yeah, um, because, because he thinks it's food, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyway, like we said, it's good for Spurs to have a clique. We've got all those players in the England squad. We are getting players out of the academy and up into the England squad. We are basically the best team in the country for that. By miles. We're the so. best. And it's only right that we should freeze out Jack Wilshire. This has been Spurverts. Hope you enjoyed it. Let us know what you're excited about in the comments. Follow us on Twitter at Spurred on TV and subscribe to the channel. We will see you soon. What's up, guys? First one I'm going to bring up, Anthony Marshall from Monaco. He's a striker. He's been likened to Woolwich's ex-player Terry Henry. 